Hello, this is Daniel Mart, and today I'm going to be doing another review. This time around, I'm going to be doing a review for episode 7 of Red Band Society, um, and it is called Know Thyself. Um, so, yeah, before I begin, no 10 second spoiler warning as usual for those that get to actually watch the episode and haven't already. Stop the video, go check it out, and come back and watch the rest of this review. 10 second spoiler warning as usual, starting now. Okay, so 10 seconds are up, so for those who have yet to actually watch the episode Hampton already, please don't comment on below or be messaging me that I never gave you a fair warning, because as usual, I did. <coughs> so yeah, basically, <coughs> sorry, basically in this episode, um, three interesting situations happen in this episode. Um, to start off with, you have Dash and Neil, and they basically, um, basically since the, since Nurse Jackson, basically Nurse Jackson got suspended, basically, from what happened a couple episodes ago. Um, okay, how do I word this? Okay, so Nurse Jackson in the previous episode, she got suspended for switching Charlie's blood samples. So now you have Dash and Leo, um, and everybody else in the group, um, Dash, Leo, Kara, Emma, um, I would say Charlie, to some extent Charlie does put his thoughts out there, you know, through mind, through his mind, so there's that. And... Jordy, and then you also have the new character Hunter, which is well, um, what seems to be Kara's love interest for the next couple episodes, um, or some of the love interest. And basically, they're all saying you know that they need to help Miss ja um, Nurse Jackson, you know, get back into the staff. Um, you do see Nurse Jackson at her home, which is pretty interesting. Uh, interesting. Um, you see her daughter, as it seems, um, there. And it's pretty cool, and you see, you, ha you do have some pretty cool flashbacks, in my opinion, to Nurse Jackson right before she became a nurse, and they explain as to why she became a nurse. Um, she was, she was basically in the singing group, um, which kind of reminded me of the Chaperones, um, I believe that's what, uh, the Chaperones and, and the Supremes, like that type of, um, late 1950s, um, type of girl power band or whatever, you know, like the Chaperones or the Supremes, um, she was like in one of those types of bands. And basically, her sister, I think it was that she had a pregnancy or something, something with her stomach, if I'm not mistaken. Um, she had some kind of health complications, to say the least, and she died. Um, she has her niece, or daughter there, or, or whatever, um, at the hospital, and she's talking to her. And that's basically when she decided that she's going to become a nurse to help children and to help everybody in general. So I really did like that, because she's, she's, cause Nurse Jackson, Jackson, she's a really interesting character, and now you really do know. Where she comes from and why she does the stuff she does, um, because she does care for the kids. But now you you see, um, how much she actually cares through these flashbacks. So I really did enjoy seeing those flashbacks, and basically what she did before she becoming a nurse. Uh, you know, she actually has a pretty good singing voice. I don't, I don't know the, I don't, I forgot the actress. Um, very fast. Let's see the actress for Nurse Jackson, um, as Octavia Spencer. Um, yeah, she, I, yeah, she's a pretty good singer from what I've heard. Um, in other shows or and whatnot. So, yeah, basically you have that, and I thought that was, I think, the best part of the episode. Um, you know, just having, it's, it's kind of Nurse Jackson-centric in some, in some aspects. <clears throat> so, I mean, you do have the, your typical stuff with Emma and Leo and Jordan and Georgie, and their love triangle, and you know, have Dr. Uh, McAndrews, and his situation with Brittany and Dr. Grace, um, which is his ex fiance and his current semi-girlfriend, or mutual friend, I don't know how you want to word it. Um... Um, so yeah, and then basically after a while, um, here's, at, and after a while, towards the end of the episode, um, you have Dash, and he's basically, um, you have Dash, you have, you have Dash, Hunter, Kara, and I believe Emma was in it too, or not? There's another character, I want to say it's Emma, but I'm not completely sure. Um, there's four of them, basically. Or was it three of them? Hunter, Kara, for different... Hunter Kara Dash and Jordy was it okay? Um, basically they decided to go to this one part of the hospital that they shouldn't go to to see exactly what they would be experiencing during surgery, and that kind of grosses them out a bit. You know, not Hunter because he's done this before, but the other characters kind of grosses them out and sees actually the reality of the hospital. Um, eventually they do get caught and whatnot, and then Dash, Dash basically almost has a panic attack or a heart attack or something. Um, I don't know if you could call it a, a, maybe a lung attack. Or whatever, because if you guys remember, he has needs oxygen, and he, he happened to miss two oxygen um treatments, which caused him to be out of breath. And the only person that ever reminds him of getting an oxygen treatment or anything for that matter, or any of the 
patients for that matter was Nurse Jackson. So Dr. McAndrews, um, he calls up Nurse Jackson, Jackson saying, yeah, yo, I did an error. Can you please come back? Uh, you know, everything's back to normal. And then at the end of the episode, the thing we have been waiting for since, who the hell knows how long, since episode one, Charlie opens his eyes. Um, so yeah, really big development in this. And I really do like the subtlety they did it too. Um, it's a very subtle show. They do really have a lot of hints. I really do like it for it. So right when Dash has his panic attack or whatever, um, he goes into this mental state, the uh, borderline between living and death, which we've seen throughout the whole series. Um, and normally you have the hospital, you have like this white version of the hospital, like really clean, very white version of the hospital, like literally painted white, uh, version of the hospital. And normally, normally you have Charlie who is there and to help whoever's there. You know, we saw it with Leo, we saw it with Jordy, how he helped them out. Um, but here you don't see Charlie. He Dash calls out to Charlie. He's like, "Yo, Charlie, are you here?" Because like, I'm pretty sure he's experienced it before. Because they have said that everybody has experienced it before. Kara experienced it. Jordy, we saw him experience it too. And we know Leo experienced it. We saw that in a flashback. Um, we, we've seen Dash in a flashback and in current date. Um, really, the only people we haven't really seen get that treatment or see Charlie um in this mental state is. Emma and Hunter. Then again, Hunter is a new character, so I really do want to know what they do with him. Um, so yeah, basically they show that he's that Charlie's not there. And then they show on the flip side, the uh, living, I guess you could say, that Charlie opens his eyes. So I thought that was really clever, really cool, because um, you know now Charlie isn't there to help Dash for one thing, and he opens his eyes. But now he's kind of in a comatosis state. Um, he really can't move. Um, he can only really communicate through blinking, you know, like this, um, almost like Stephen Hawking or whatever. Like, he, he has a normal heart rate, normal breathing rate or whatnot. He can hear, he just can't move, talk. He could, the only thing he could do is blink. So, yeah. But, I thought that was really great, in my opinion. So, yeah, um, on a scale of 1 to 10, one of the worst, same the best, and six being decent, just for the amount of development they gave each character, and the plot, for that matter. I'm going to have to give this one a 9 out of 10, so a really fantastic episode in my opinion. Um, yeah, really fantastic. It's almost a 10. Um, yeah, it's almost a 10. Maybe if they kind of cut back a little bit on the Leo and Emma romance bullshit a bit more, um, I think it would have been great. But yeah. So that's basically it for, for this um, review. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, and comic book reviews. Comment down below on your thoughts on the episode. Like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. And that's basically it for now. This is Daniel Marge signing off.